southern Missouri, northern Arkansas, southern Kansas, and uh, the Oklahoma City area got worse than us. My area in Iowa uh, got the, the northern part of this storm, which was basically heavy rain. And uh, there's a pocket right now until later this afternoon, and we're going to get more storms. Um, our chances of tornadoes aren't as great as uh, the St. Louis and Memphis area, so um, uh, I feel fortunate for that. But I feel sorry for all the people, all the losses, and uh, the inc incalculable amount of damage. And uh, we've had at least three EF5 tornadoes this spring already. Generally, you only see one or two a year. Sometimes there's a few years in between. Before this year, the last EF5 was in uh, my state, Parkersburg. And that was 2008. Uh, so, it's scary. Uh, uh, they were predicting last year that we were going to have worse storms this year, so... I'm not totally shocked, but, uh, but yet again I am, uh, mainly just the massive amounts of, of lives lost. You can replace a house, you can take more pictures, but uh, when a life is gone, it's gone. And to exasperate the situation, the people that are missing, especially the children, uh, uh, that's almost worse than death. Uh, I, I don't really want to dwell on it too much, but I just wanted to let the people know if anyone has family or is from this, these areas that uh, I'm thinking about you. And uh, my prayers, my family's prayers go out to you. And uh, I did see some encouragement some of the survivors of Joplin. They said they could rebuild. They said they could make it better. And uh, that's brave words. They, in fact, it was only two days after the tornado destroyed 30% of their city. But uh, I'm going to move on from the tornado top now because uh, it's putting a dread in me. And uh, being that I'm in Tornado Alley myself. Yeah, don't like to think about it so much. We went and uh, had the third ultrasound done yesterday. The baby's six months old, or six months in utero, and uh, is uh, one pound and uh, I believe it was 14 ounces. Still a girl. We were almost afraid that we were going to go back and they were going to say it was a boy. Uh, since we bought a everything girl now. And uh, everything's still looking good. And she has to go in tomorrow and uh, have a diabetes check. Which I think is standard with pregnancies. She has to drink that orange uh, soda pop looking stuff and then have her, her blood check. But... Uh, everything's fine, I'm sure. The baby looks very healthy. Uh, very, very white out here. Uh, certain spots back here, I had to walk way steep in wet weeds, but uh, that's okay. I'll try. I had to hold the camera up to shoulder level, which, being that I'm a short guy, really wasn't all that high, but... Uh, uh, I can hear a train clear back here. I'm not anywhere near tracks. Much, much cooler today. Uh, it's only about 59 degrees. And uh, two days ago it was in the mid 80s. The lows are supposed to be uh, close to uh, 45 degrees for the next two nights. And then by this weekend, warm again, but rain and thunderstorms every day through Monday. 
But again, uh, we're not supposed to get much severe weather, so, or, or at least uh, we're just on the very edge of it, so we're fortunate. My friend, one of my friends, uh, drives a charter bus for, for a living, and he was in the Kansas City area today, and uh, he and his group, they were going to Worlds of Fun, had to seek shelter. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about tornadoes, but uh, he just texted me a little while ago and said they just were allowed to leave. Yeah, they're all fine, but uh, yeah, the tornadoes are starting at noon already. Anyway, uh, I can't keep this going real long because uh, the wife has to pick me up at three and uh, I gotta truck my way back out of here. But uh, even though it's soggy wet, it's still quite nice out here. And uh, hopefully this water is relaxing and not overpowering my voice. But the birds uh, are definitely loud. Uh, and I'm actually up on a, a ledge. Not exactly a cliff, but I'm probably 20 feet above the water. And surrounded by weeds, so hopefully if I take any more steps forward, I don't fall into the water. If anything, I think I'll probably head backwards. animation um, through the paint program in uh, Movie Maker. I posted one short one and um, I'm working on another kind of crew drawing since I'm using a mouse, but uh, it occupies my time as I look for a job. Uh, most of my job uh, search so far has been online. Some of these uh, online apps are massive. One I did yesterday took an hour and a half. And, uh, just can't believe how much work is involved. I don't know if you can see that blue bird over there.
I was out fishing, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. I've actually gone fishing three days in a row now. And, uh, and I've only caught small uh, bass and a crappie, but nothing big enough to keep. And today they were teasing me. They were flipping out of the water all along the shoreline, but not a one would bite on my hook. So probably won't get another chance to fish until next week now with all the rain and with all the rain and thunderstorms coming, so okay. I hope everybody's well and safe. And uh everything is good in your world. I thank God for everything that we have. Sometimes it's, it's you get into a mundane life and uh, it's kind of hard to be thankful, but uh, you really should. It could always be worse. And I know I've said that before, but it's so true. Uh, so, I guess I'm just getting a little philosophical. But uh, I better head out of here, so... Everyone take care, and uh, if you're in the line of storms, uh, try to be aware of what's going on around you. And uh, get a little shot of that bird, the yellow belly there. But, uh, yes, uh, I love, I'm not saying everyone, but uh, if, you, if you're aware of what's going on, and uh, take uh, Cautionary measures at a time. Uh, you stand a better chance of staying safe. Okay. <laughs>